All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is a very anticipated unboxing here. Um, I've had lots of questions on what motor am I going to put in my new Techno SCT410, and here you have it. This is the new Tekken Pro 4 HD motor for their short course vehicles. Um, this is a 550 size can, so it's a little bit longer than a 540 size can. Still a Pro 4, so it's a four pole motor. Um, but they've stepped down um, the KVs on these just slightly. Uh, my previous Pro 4, my 540 size is a 4600. On this one, I opted to go with the 4300 KV. Um, this motor is, is fairly new to Tekken. Uh, they're hitting stores as we speak, and this is May of 2013. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's see what you get inside the box. Let's take a look at this new motor, and I can't wait to get this thing installed in my Techno SCT410. So inside the box, or let's look at the box first, you get that typical uh, Tekken window, I call it, the window into the motor. 4300 kV, you see that there? And pretty much the same boxes as they had for the Pro 4 motors. It is a red line badged motor, so it is fully brushless and censored. Uh, other side here, let's take a look at some of the features of it. Four pole, 12 slot high torque motor design um, has that cool 6061 uh, build of aluminum heat sink on down it's fully censored as well so it has the wire harness included with the kit here and anodized end bell plate maximizes corrosion and wear resistance and then of course ABEC 5 oversized bearings uh, other side here, here's some of the KV options uh, available on the HD line. Uh, 4300, which, which is what I chose uh, for an indoor clay track that has some pretty long straightaways. Uh, 3500, 3000, 2500, and 1850 KV versions. Uh, other side here, just some specs on it uh, as far as what voltage you need to run to make those motors work. I'm just going to be running a regular 2S LiPo. And also some sizing right there, 2.5 inches in length, so definitely longer than a 540 sized motor. And back to the front. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's take a look inside. Peel this sticker open here. There we go. And it's in its typical little kind of teak and vault is what I call it. And we're going to do the official motor pluck out of this thing. That's the only way I can think to get this thing out. And cool motor. This thing has some definite weight to it. Um, has all of the the typical Pro 4 looking features on it. The black um, motor can has the red anodized aluminum end bells. Pretty cool. Uh, sensor port right there on the front side. Also, they're including that um, little sensor wire holder. Uh, actually already attached before it used to just come in the box just kind of laying loose in there. Motor tabs up there on top with A, B, and C kind of uh, marked on there. So 4300 kV red line censored. Has the new Tekken Pro 4 HD badging on the side there. Always dig that look right there. And on the front has that cool 5 millimeter that is just a huge uh, motor shaft uh, for mounting up your Mod 1 pinions. And just huge uh, hardware included on this as well. Pretty cool motor. Can't wait to get this thing mounted up to my new Techno truck. So let's lay this thing down. Let's see what else is included inside the box here. I believe there should be a sensor wire in here. And there is. There it fell right out. So your typical uh, Tekken sensor wire about six and a half inches in length. And that's it. Pretty cool. So this motor is awesome. I can't wait to uh, feel the difference between this and the regular Pro 4 motors. Um, I happen to own a 4600 and also a 4000, so I have some things to compare it to. And that's it for now. Hopefully, uh, if you have any guys any questions at all, please throw it down down below. I'm I'm pretty well versed in a lot of the Tekken product lately. Uh, I've been running. A lot of their different motors, ESCs, and whatnot. So please feel free to throw that down below. 
And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over now.